how to fix update kv5062552 failed to install in windows 11 23h2 hello friends follow the steps to fix any installation issues that occurs with july 2025 security update for windows 11 23h2 the first method is try to install the update from microsoft update catalog go to the video description and click on the link to microsoft update catalog you will reach this page here are multiple files check your system type first click on start select settings click on system scroll down and click on about here is system type 64 bit operating system x64 based processor the first file is for x64 based systems this file is uh, compatible with my computer check yours and click on the download button click on this link and let the file download once downloaded click on the msu file and follow the on screen instructions to install the update if this method doesn't work, run Windows Update Troubleshooter. Click on Search, type Troubleshoot, click on Troubleshoot Settings, select Other Troubleshooters. For Windows Update, click on Run. Select uh, I can download, install or uninstall an update. Can we run the Windows Update Automated Diagnostic? Click on Yes. The Windows Update Diagnostic failed to run. Would you like to talk to agent? If you want to talk to an agent, click on Contact Support. The next method is Modify Services. Click on Search type services click on services we will make changes in four services related to windows update process the first service is app readiness right click on this service select properties for all the four services the startup type should be automatic and the service status should be running if the startup type is not automatic then you will need to click on the drop down and select automatic if the service is stopped you will have to click on start let's begin for the app readiness service for the startup type change the option to automatic click on apply click on start ok right click on app readiness Select Restart. Look for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This one. Right click on this service. Select Properties. Change the Startup Type to Automatic. The service is already running. So click on Apply. Click on OK. Right click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Select Restart. In the same way, look for cryptographic services. This one, right click on this service, select properties. A startup type is automatic here and service is running, so nothing is needed here. Click on OK. Right click on the cryptographic services, select restart. Yes. Then come to the bottom. Here is Windows Update Service. Right click on this service. Select Properties. Change the Startup Type to Automatic. Service is already running. So click on Apply. Click on OK. Right click on this service and select Restart. Close the service window and try to download the update. Click on Start. Select Settings go to windows update and click on check for updates 
Once the update is downloaded, click on restart now to install the security update. To install the security update. If the issue still persists, then reset Windows Update Components. Click on search, type CMD. Select Run as Administrator. Click on Yes. These are the commands to reset Windows Update Components. The commands are given in the description of this video. Copy the first line of command. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. Copy the second line. Paste into the command prompt. Hit enter. Do you want to continue this operation? Type Y and press enter. Copy the next line. Paste enter. In the same way, run all these commands one by one. After you are done, close the command prompt, close the other running tasks and restart your computer. Then try to install the update. If the problem is not going away, then there might be something wrong with uh, system files or windows image. So run system files checker and DISM tools. For this, click on search. Again type CMD, right click on command prompt, select run as administrator, click on yes, again go to the video description, you will find these commands there, DISM command and SFC command, copy the DISM restore health command. Paste into the command prompt, hit enter. Then copy the SFC command, paste, press enter. Once done with both the commands, close the command prompt, close other tasks, and then restart your computer. After restarting, try to install the update. If the issue still persists, there might be third party antivirus program that can interfere with the Windows update process. If you have installed third party antivirus, then uninstall it. I have not installed any external antivirus program. I am showing you an example here. To uninstall the third party antivirus, right click on start, select install apps. Find the program in this list. For the program, click on three dots and select uninstall. Again click on uninstall. Yes, if any uninstall wizard appears, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the removal, close the settings app and then restart your computer. Then check for updates. If any methods don't work, then you will have to perform in place upgrade. For this, launch a browser, type Windows 11 download in the address bar. Press enter, click on download Windows 11, scroll down and from this section download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices, click on select download and select Windows 11 multi edition ISO for x64 devices. If your device is ARM64 based, then click on this link and follow the steps accordingly. For x64 devices, click on confirm. Here you will have to select the product language, check the language of your system, click on start, go to settings, time and language, then select language and region, Windows display language is English United States. Click on choose one. Select English United States, 
देन क्लिक ऑन कंफर्म क्लिक ऑन सिक्सटी फोर बिट डाउनलोड लेट द डाउनलोड कंप्लीट वंस कंप्लीटेड क्लिक ऑन द फोल्डर आइकन राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस आई एस ओ फाइल सिलेक्ट माउंट क्लिक ऑन ओपन ऑन द सिक्योरिटी वार्निंग पॉपअप राइट क्लिक ऑन सेटअप डॉट ई एक्स सिलेक्ट ओपन क्लिक ऑन रन यस and check this box checking this box will take much more time so uncheck it and click on next on this window for applicable notice and license terms click on accept finally click on install and wait until the installation is complete that's all friends thanks for watching the video